this is going to be a very powerful and prophetic word um, that came directly from the Holy Spirit. I'm also going to talk about an encounter that I had last week. Now, I want to say last Sunday, I believe, um, I got a, I got an email and I received a consultation from someone. Um, her last name is Williams. First name is Cornelia. And so she emailed me and she wanted to book a consultation. Now, mind you, she has already been in the mentorship. I removed her. She didn't even last a week. I removed her um, that same week. Now, she practices deep witchcraft. She is incredibly wicked. Um, that would be actually an understatement. Now, um, that night, I removed her. I removed her consultation. I canceled it almost immediately. Um, and she has not stopped stalking, monitoring, watching, all of the above. Now, she is not the only person um, that I'm referring to or talking about um, doing this video. But I'm going to highlight her because I had an encounter that same night. Now, the night I went to sleep, I heard her calling my name. All right, it was really dark. I went to sleep. I heard her call my name. I woke up. I went back to sleep. I heard her calling my name again. I'm like, God, who is this calling my name? God kept highlighting her name to me specifically. I remember earlier that day, I kept telling her to stop being obsessed with me. I told her to release me. Let me go. You are not getting back into the mentorship. She turns around. Now I tell her this, right? She turns around and sends a new sketch. She rescheduled again the same day. It's so bizarre to me how these people do not and will not move on. I do not understand it. Um, I canceled that one again. Now, God revealed to me um, that she had erected an altar, um, of course, to try to destroy me. She's actually stuck in this altar. Many witches that have come against me um, are trapped in these altars. Okay? I'm looking down because I have notes. There are two ways to get out of this altar. You will remain stuck in this altar. I am not exaggerating. My words do not fall to the ground. Um, and God has made it that way. God revealed to me that there is two ways um, that you will be able to get out of this altar. Okay. The very first one would be for me to pray for you. And a lot of you are not going to do that because of the hatred um, that you have towards me. The second way... God says is that you would have to fully repent. Now, some of you, God has been telling me you've seen these videos exposing Satan's kids and it has caused great fear to come over you. But what's interesting is majority of you repented out of fear, but you did not mean it in your heart. And God says you repenting is not going to catapult you out of these altars. You will still be stuck in those altars. Um, a lot of you need to fast. You actually need to watch my content and apply the way I teach and this is no shade um, but it's not going to happen for you um, and so God also said to fast um, and to fully submit when I say fully submit to God that means fully submit to him um, many witches have had dreams of themselves being trapped the girl who I highlighted she's had dreams where she's seen herself being trapped in rooms some of you have seen yourself being trapped in vehicles um, that is because you all are stuck in this altar do you know the Holy Spirit revealed to me that every single thing that you've done has come to a complete halt God even revealed to me that your hair on your head is not even going to grow you will literally be in the same place this time next year. God says that I have tongues of fire. He said that my tongues have caused many of you witches to be trapped in these altars as a result of your myriad of attempts at witchcraft, car accidents. Um, it is very, very sad the level of time that you all are taking um, and just monitoring and being completely obsessed over someone that you wouldn't even be able to lay a finger on. Um, and so I'm just going to tell you all that you need to release me in Jesus 
Jesus name. Now I've opened the invitation um, for many of you to repent. Some of you have even reached out to me and even continuously lied and said that you didn't even know what I was talking about. Well, no, only a male did that. He said, because major none of you other witches you ain't even tried to reach out to me um because you already know what it is but there was a gentleman who god told me to bless a thousand with a thousand dollars i did so and he's emailed me repeatedly and played games as if like he doesn't know what i'm talking about when he has done all type of witchcraft um he's tried to bind my soul he's thought about being with me sexually he is a liar um and so god has had me to bless many many extremely wicked people to actually expose their hearts that's the type of god that we serve all right that's what i'm going to say concerning this um the witches who are captured in these altars uh god wanted me to tell you that you have spiritually been unalived um to be free from this you must fully submit your will over to jesus christ um i'm also going to tell you it is a wise practice that if you have done deep witchcraft if you've erected altars it is so wise to repent to these people um i always say you all have my email address if you're going to email me i want you to go in great detail about every single attack the love spells the altars the things that you have done to other people um it is very wise to do so this is how you fully come out of darkness you don't mind explaining how you erected these altars you don't mind explaining what you did how you did at the time the hours all of this stuff the way that you chanted the only reason why you all don't like to fully come out of darkness is because you still want to be able to do these things in the event things don't work out with god see one of the things that i used to think recently was that god i almost felt like i failed god or that i'm not supposed to be doing ministry and you know it's so funny what god tells me he says this he said these people um, on Judgment Day, he said they will never be able to lie and say they did not encounter a true servant of Jesus Christ. He said, I want you to continuously um, do this mentorship to the end of this year because you are giving these people the opportunity. People schedule consultations with me, lie, tell me to send them the link. They never join. Do you know God even tells me that they don't have any intentions on joining? I met with a lady today at 2 o'clock p.m., right? God told me before I I got on the consultation she is not going to join he said but i'm giving these people the opportunity right to be under a true servant see being in a mentorship it it it, it sheds a lot of light on who you really are in a much deeper level and that's where a lot of people go wrong because they think that it's going to be a cakewalk because you see me posting these testimonies it has nothing to do when you join the mentorship okay but i'm just going to tell you all that you witches are going to remain trapped in these altars you witches are going to remain stagnant in the realm of the spirit you witches will not grow i prophesy that your witchcraft will not only will it not work on me but that if you try to afflict other people that it will not work on them in jesus name i prophesy that every demon inside of you be tormented in the realm of the spirit and also in the natural i prophesy that your demons that are inside of you will go deaf dumb and blind spiritually in jesus name and that they be tormented day and night by the angels of war I release that over you in Jesus' name until you fully repent and surrender your will over to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 